Okay, here's my setup I'm going to use this year. Um, I know it looks bulky and everything, but some of these gates that we have to hunt behind, whether it be on the uh, WMA or National Forest, is uh, you know, some of those walks are over a mile, and some of the places I'm going is like that. So just trying to find something that'll help me get back there a little easier without exerting all my energy because uh, there's some mountains in there and it takes a lot just to get in there and back out much less catch you know killing something and getting it out now, this is my setup this is a summit viper this bow is not my hunting bow i'm just using it for for a display purpose right now i'm uh, looking for a way to attach it to here without getting in my strings and i can bring it down on this pad and this is my seat the brown part i can bring that down on my pad and and it'll uh, keep my strings from touching anything, you know, up here. Then my sight here, you know, uh, I may have to put something over my sights, which, like I said, this is not my hunting bow. Uh, but I may have to put something over this, you know, to keep mud from flying up on it or whatever. But this is a, something my son ordered. It's just a regular book rack that, that fastens to the bicycles. It's got two braces that goes down toward the, the axle here. And then at the front, uh, here's your book rack at the front. It's got two more braces. We had to make these brackets here to, to accommodate that. So you got four brackets. You got the two here, you know, that's coming down. That's really supporting everything. And then this one out here is just to sturdy it up. So uh, we've added two ammo boxes on the side. You can mount them to the two bars that's on, on these uh, brackets here. And uh, in case you was wanting to know, this is a... Uh, we hunt along the Cahaba River. And there's a couple mile of dirt road and trails that you can ride. And we stick our rod and reels in this. You can see where you put your finger thing and put our sticker rods back so they don't get hung up in the bushes. And we fish along the river like that. That's what these are Come on each side. But anyway, that's my setup. Uh, my backpack's always inside my stand anyway when I'm toting. And this year i'm sure i'll be packing meat out because i'm getting too broke down to to drag anymore and uh so this is my setup man uh, i'm not even sure what kind of bike this is it's a couple that my son had bought new and we camoed them for this purpose and, and anyway the only thing i would recommend if i hadn't already said it if you plan on building a bike like this i've already noticed one thing that that would really help out and that's to get a girl's bike because you can get the girl's bike with the lower rail here think about it in the winter time you're gonna have a lot of clothes and stuff on you know maybe coveralls and uh, it's harder to get on and off of it with it with your rail up there especially with the load like this on the, you know making it top heavy so uh if you're considering building a bike look into getting a girl's bike or one that has a, a low bar there and you know to allow you to get on and off of it a lot better so uh just want to show you my setup here and um, that's what I got. Anybody else got stuff like this? Comment. And I'll probably stick this on YouTube just to show some guys what, what I've got going on. So, uh, yeah. Thank y'all for watching and following along. And uh, we'll be seeing you out in the deer woods. <laughs>